step back 12 months ago, Tully East took out the Close Brothers handicap. He has been laid out for the Brown and Mary Bell. Tully East, he'd get his ground again, come alive. Tully East from Adam Fleming. Well, now the rain's come. I think a value call, Lamy Surge, and I think he'll get the better up the hill of old rival Sam Spinner, who again is happy with this recent weather. I'm against Super Sunday. I think he'll probably nearly place, but he's not won over three miles yet. So, the finishing order. Lamy Surge can creep into it late and pounce. He's proven at Cheltenham. Sam Spinner, he's silver medal. And Super Sunday, only bronze. Tommy Rapper in the Potemps. Oh, this is a quirky individual, but oh so talented. And Dan Skelton's got it absolutely right the last twice. He'll be waiting, waiting and waiting, Dan Skelton, until the last, and he can see them off. This is a graded horse in a handicap. Super Sunday in the Stayers. I know he beat Forheen last time, it's Jesse Harrington at the festival, but I think he'll go off around about seven to two, and there are loads and loads of dangers around him. It's a prize thing for me. I'm sure he'll run well, but a horse that's never won over three miles, Super Sunday, he's the late. Thursday. I can't wait for Thursday. Why? Because the missile, the scud that is under so turns up again in the Ryanair. With waiting patiently, without waiting patiently, he won't get to this one. Waiting patiently had a hard race at Ascot as well. Without that, it is a poor, poor renewal. Under so, he wins again. Any other business? Well, I punt in pretty much every race like most of you lot, and the Kim Muir is interesting. The young master, Sam Whaley Cohen, I could see a plunge on this. He's been given a wind up. He's sensationally well handicapped and he's gone well around Cheltenham before. The young master at a big price in the Kim Muir.